Creo Parametric 9.0 introduces the new divide surface feature allowing you to divide a surface into two portions in order to work with the surface area as separate surface. This increases design productivity for many use cases. The most prominent ones relate to appearance definition flexibility and model based definition. For example, in MBD you can define regions of a surface and associate separate dedicated geometric tolerances and datums to them. Product manufacturing information and semantic queries then support these portions or areas divided into new surfaces as semantic references. Divided surfaces can also benefit various flexible modeling workflows, in particular those involving the move and offset feature, as these features automatically create side surfaces. This can be helpful for many design workflows. A good example would be the improved workflow to model embossed or engraved text labels on selected model surfaces. The divide surface feature is also exposed in the sheet metal design environment. In contrast to the sheet metal feature split area, it only acts on the selected surface of a sheet metal body without creating dividing edges on the sides or on the opposite sheet metal surfaces. Bend and unbend operations involving vaults with divided surfaces are supported. Assigned colors are transferred to the corresponding faces in flattened or bent state. In simulation environments, divided surfaces allow you to apply loads and constraints more precisely onto the required surface area, which leads to better simulation results. This was previously only possible in the Creo Simulation Extension environment that provided surface region as a simulation-only feature. Similar benefits can be achieved in the generative design environment. This shown example illustrates two generative design optimization studies. The first result is generated based on a load defined over the entire area of the highlighted rectangular shape. This is followed by a second study where the load is only applied to circular areas, which leads to a differently generated design. Dividing edges are now also better supported during data exchange. When you import models with divided surfaces that have been created in PTC Creo Elements Direct Modeling or in other CAD systems, you can now use and work with the imported surfaces and edges. Also, the Unify Surfaces tool is available to merge the imported surfaces again into a single one. The new Divide Surface feature in Creo Parametric 9.0 increases your geometric modeling design flexibility to better support a broad variety of design use cases.